I think I'm Big Meech huh? Larry Hoover Whipping work Hallelujah What's up everyone? Nick Kiger here, Kiger Strength And uh, today, in a couple hours, I'm gonna go do a deadlift uh, centered back and traps workout um, I'm gonna try to get some good footage of it, uh, of the whole workout hopefully and um, look at that, that's kind of funny. It's like a double selfie. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, let me show you what I, I'm having uh, kind of lunch, pre-workout meal. Let me just show you that real quick. Here's what I'm having for uh, lunch. Um, very simple, pasta, grilled chicken, broccoli, and olive oil. Very simple, effective, and 2% milk about one cup. I don't like any, I don't think anyone should drink anything, you know, lower than 2% milk. You know, the skim milk and, um, you know, even low fat milk, it's kind of like taking away <laughs> the properties that makes milk milk and just basically a weird colored water. So anyway, um, that's what I'm having. And um, yeah, I'll check in with you when I go to the gym. All right, so I just got to the gym. Um, about to take my pre-OG. Haven't taken this in a while. So, I mean, I'm gonna actually take a full scoop and uh, see how it works. So, haven't taken a pre-OG shot to the dome in a while, so stay tuned. Okay, so here I am trying to balance the phone while I'm the stair climber and uh, yeah, I always do five minutes um, whether it be jump rope, the stair climber, whatever um, as long as I get a sweat going. I never start a workout you know without having a sweat going. It means your joints are warm and uh, you're ready to go. So about to do five minutes here almost a little over two minutes done now and then about to go get it. Let's get it. All right, so today's workout started off with deadlifts like I usually do for back workouts. And you see here that I decided to do sumo deadlifts today. Um, usually I do conventional. I'm a much stronger conventional um, deadlifter, so, uh, you know, with the feet closer together. But every once in a while it's good to switch it up. And also you're going to notice I didn't use a belt for any of these sets. And um, I talk about that a little later, actually, but every once in a while, it's good um, to go beltless. That way, you know, you're not always relying on the help of that belt and you can activate the core. So um, I did, I pyramided up, uh, this is 365, I think, you know, not, not a very, I'm not a very strong uh, sumo deadlifter at all but um you know it's good to work on your weak point so after this you're gonna see i moved on to uh pull-ups for the best basic uh back exercise there is and um i like to when i do pull-ups i like to uh switch up my grips um so if i do four sets you know i might do two sets with a wider grip and then um, maybe a couple sets with a more narrow grip just to work all the areas of um, the back as you're gonna see on this next set I choose a more um, close grip Next exercise here is uh, hammer strength lat pull downs. I love these uh, hammer strength machines. I wish every gym had them. Um, this is a, a you really feel a great stretch in the lats using this machine, and you can really um, pinch those shoulder blades together at the bottom of each rep. So definitely one of my favorite machines, and I highly recommend you give it a try if you have it at your local gym. So 
So after the uh, pulling movement, I decided to move on to the hammer strength row, sticking with that hammer strength. <laughs> um, and I went, uh, I decided to go, you can go one or two arms at a time. One arm, um, I just feel like it kind of, it allows you to pull a little more weight. Um, you can really focus more on that one side. So I, I worked up uh, to a few plates. Uh, really focusing on full range of motion and um, really squeezing those lats uh, at the end of each rep to make each rep count. Next, I decided to do the good old-fashioned dumbbell row. Uh, you can do it however you feel comfortable, you know, um, on a flat bench or kind of leaning against the uh, dumbbell rack. I, I do both today. I decided to um, do it off the dumbbell rack. I kind of just, you know, hits a little slightly different angle of the back. And uh, um, again, on these ones, really important, no swinging or jerking of the body. Uh, just keep it nice and controlled, smooth, good tempo, and just make love to those weights. Here I paid homage to my Olympic lifting side with some snatch grip, shrugs, really kill the traps, just like uh, any Olympic movement really does. And you're gonna see I finished off with creature curls, just cause I had a, you know, at the end of a back workout, you have a good bicep pump. Might as well throw in one exercise just to finish them off. You know, just cap off um, that good pump. And I'll probably do biceps again later in the week, but just get a little added volume. And that's it. All right, just got done with weights. Now I'm gonna go, try to go 10 minutes on the elliptical. Anyone who's been on one before knows how boring it is, but uh, I'm gonna try, you know, get a little cardio in. That my heart rate was up the whole time during that workout. I don't know why, but that one was extra brutal. But I love it. It's a great workout. Um, so yeah, I will. After this, gonna have that protein shake, and yeah, talk to you later. All right, just got done with that back workout, man. That was one of the best back workouts I've had in a while. I'll be feeling that one in the morning. <laughs> um, so just got one scoop of the new Cellucor Cinnamon Swirl. I did a video on the review. It's pretty good. I recommend it. So I'm going to have this and then in a little have a post-workout meal. So I'm back home. And I just want to say uh, how much your core works when you do deadlifts without a belt. It's crazy. Like uh, my, I, if I had done direct like ab exercises, I wouldn't even that my abs wouldn't even be um, as close to as sore as they are already from doing beltless deadlifts. It just requires so much core activation. So if you typically do them with a belt try just to mix it up try um going beltless once and maybe don't go as heavy um obviously for uh if you're used to doing it with a belt but it's crazy it's like it's compound movements like deadlifts and squats are definitely the best um core exercises they really really strengthen your um your abdominal area as well as your lower back so just some food for thought right there on uh, beltless deadlifts so i'm gonna have some dinner in a few and uh yep that's it so i will probably check in with you later all right bros and broettes uh that's gonna conclude this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um yeah, so if you liked it, please um, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Whoa.
Come on.